Hi, welcome to Fincast tutorial video on how to live stream specifically to Facebook. Okay, um, I'm going to first start by going to uh, the settings for streaming down here on the end. Uh, when we click it, uh, we'll select Facebook. Two settings you'll make uh, in order to make a connection to Facebook is the Facebook URL and the key for that URL. Other settings up here I would leave basically default. If you find that you're getting a bit of lag when you're broadcasting live and feedcast just drop the video a bit uh, right back to a smaller size and maybe drop the frames from 30 back to 25. You know, this can be got to do with your internet having a bad day uh, from your internet provider. It happens. Okay, so uh, we change from record to stream and it illuminates blue here. So before we do anything, we need to go to Facebook. Go to the web browser. I am already logged into Facebook and here what I want you to type in this is the best route I think you can select live streaming from your Facebook page but it seems to jump at the moment straight away into trying to connect you and your camera just simply type in uh, Facebook live stream create okay this is the web address you're looking for. And you can read it back in the video recording. Okay. So this is where I go because I'm already logged in. Um, I'm in a position to create a live stream. So simply uh, click the live stream button. So we're going to completely ignore uh, camera and connect. It's not relevant because we're using Fimcast. There's a couple of settings down here. Uh, by default, uh, this one is illuminated. Use a secure connection. Pretty much select this one uh, because of the 1st of May 2019, uh, the previous RTMPT uh, will be uh, discontinued. Basically, Facebook um, are insisting on a secure connection as of from that date. This one here use a persistent stream key. Check this one, very important. If you do not check it, uh, this key is gonna keep changing every single time uh, that you do a live stream. So you do one today, you stop, you go to do another one tomorrow, the key will have changed. If you have this checked, it'll be the same key all the time until such time as you reset it, which I'm obviously going to do after making this video. Um, okay, on to the right hand side. There are settings here, I'm not going to go into, you'll see them yourself, more related to uh, Facebook and connecting directly from them without using Fincast or any additional software. Here's you choose from where you want to post your live podcast on your timeline, on a page, an event, etc. And this one, uh, I select only me when I want to test. So if you want to test before you go live and make sure everything's working and you're ready to live broadcast what you want to broadcast, if you can test it, uh, viewing it from your mobile phone, tablet, or PC by just selecting only me. However, there is a preview I'm going to show you now. Okay. So you can type in a title here that appears uh, for your live stream on your timeline for example and you can put in some tags there if you choose um, obviously you need to change this to public or friends or whoever you want to see us before you go live and speaking of going live there is a go live button down here which is disabled grayed out you can't press it and there's a reason for that Okay, 
So we go back to Fincast Studio. And I'm just going to put the box in this for the live stream. Um, you simply click stream. And now if we go back to the Facebook page, we should see it coming in. There's our boxes. Facebook page is giving us back uh, some information, the size which is correct, uh, video bit rate at present that will fluctuate, and frames per second which will fluctuate, but it's supposed to be 30. The audio kilobits, uh, kilobits per second, and your audio format which is AAC. I think it's a little better than MP3 for live streaming, to be honest. Okay. And now if we look over to the right hand side, we can see the go live button is enabled. It's very blue. And if we press it, it means we will go live to Facebook. Or if you prefer, in order for you to look at it yourself on your Facebook page, on your mobile phone, tablet, whatever, you're not going to see it until you click go live. This is just a preview that Facebook give to you so you can see that everything is working accordingly before you go live. It's kind of good. Okay, so we go back to Fincast Studio. Just a few more things. I'll just turn off the live stream I want to mention uh, before I wrap this up. Your options when you're live streaming regarding audio are when the SPK button is pressed, that means your speaker button. Whatever comes out of your speakers or your headset, your headphones, is what's recorded. That's what that means. The sound on your computer. So don't have any unnecessarily sounds running in the background. Auxiliary, AUX button, means it will also, when pressed, record whatever's here. Here it shows my blue snowball microphone. Up here, there's an auxiliary volume switch, which is really specifically related to the volume input on your microphone. I'm not sure if it worked with an, uh, uh, an audio mixing desk. Auxiliary can also be other audio devices connected to the input, if it has one. On your audio card. Most people will connect maybe an audio mixing desk into the input on the video um, on their audio card, I beg your pardon. And basically that allows them to connect a bunch of microphones uh, to the audio mixing and output it on one output to the input on the sound card and then that would be recorded with the AUX. But for a real big studio setup. Okay, so again, just a quick cap on this. Speaker records only your sound or headset. AUX will record if uh, turned on, uh, both the auxiliary input and speaker. With speaker turned off and AUX on, will record audio-wise or stream only your auxiliary device. And with nothing turned on, it will just be your pictures. There will be no audio whatsoever. Okay, so that's basically how you live stream to uh, Facebook. It's a little bit more extra than YouTube, Twitch and others where you simply just add the URL and the key and just simply click stream. Uh, Facebook just has a little bit more to it. There are programs that do allow you to do the settings without going to the page, but it pretty much is reinventing the wheel. It's as easy to go to Facebook page and look at your preview and click go live, I think. So again, thank you for watching our tutorial video on how to stream specifically to Facebook. Website again is fincast.com. Thank you for watching. Bye now.